So I'm starting out this morning with a gulp three inch shrimp. This is a scented soft plastic, works great, been around a long time. But uh, this is the nuclear chicken color. Great for our color water here. It's pretty brown and tonic being in the bay. And all I have here is a quarter ounce Berkeley Fusion jig head, 15 pound fluorocarbon leader, 30 pound main braid on my bait caster setup. But I'm just gonna be working a drop off, looking for flounder, trout, redfish. But all I do is let this lure sink down to the bottom, reel in my slack, give it a hop, let it sink down again. Hop, reel in slack, sink, hop. All the way back to me. It's an extremely easy bait to work. You don't have to do much to it. But if I'm looking for flounder, I want to keep as much bottom contact as I can. So we're going to work our way around the bay and see what we can find. Oh, fish on, man, something just hit it. That's a pretty heavy fish too. Oh, come on, something hit it good. What is that? I haven't seen it yet and it's not fighting that hard. It's just heavy weight. Oh, don't tell me. Cell cat. <laughs> you know what? I haven't done a cell cat cook on the channel, so we're gonna keep this one. That is a gaff top cell cat. And they're actually really good to eat. So he's not a real big one, but perfect size. I'm gonna throw him in the cooler. And he liked my gulp. These things are actually pretty cool. They do crap all over your boat. But uh, see why they call them gaff top sail cat? That long dorsal fin, long pectoral fins. But we're gonna keep him and cook him up like we would a freshwater catfish. Just to show you that you can eat saltwater catfish. Certain kinds though. So let's throw them on ice and keep them fresh. If you've ever caught one of those before, between them and ladyfish, they will definitely uh, dirty up the boat deck because they are extremely slimy. But he's in the cooler. We're going to get that gulp shrimp back out and try it again. So at least we have something to take home and eat. And I have not done a saltwater catfish catch and cook on the channel yet. And I've been meaning to, and just I haven't been... I really haven't been catching too many of them, so kind of worked out this morning. Ooh. Oh, fish on this morning. Another one. I don't know what this is going to be. What is that? A lizard fish. Okay, well, these are not really that good to eat. They're very bony. One that size is not going to be good anyway. <laughs> but he really liked that shrimp. See why I call them lizard fish. I've shown you this before if you watch other videos. They look like a lizard and a fish mixed together. They do have teeth. And we're going to let it go. There you go, buddy. He gone. Those are not really what you want to catch. They're kind of cool, though. But at least that's two species so far this morning. That's always fun catching a variety. And our bait's still good. Let's get it back out. Oh, oh man, as soon as it hit the water, as soon as it hit the water, it just got a bite. I don't know what this is gonna be. I saw some bait flicking out there and tossed that shrimp over. What are you? That'd be funny if it was another sail cat. Oh, it's pulling drag, whatever it is. Dang. Okay. It doesn't want to come up. Uh, come on. I have no clue what this is going to be. I'm kind of excited, though. Pulling drag on the bait caster. Uh, come on, get up. Get up. Big sail cat. <laughs> Big old cell cat. Come on, calm down. Yep, looks like it's gonna be a cell cat catch and cook kind of day. If I can get them in. Oh man, it's a big one. Mm. Hope oh, flew. Y'all, check out the size of that cell cat. Man, <laughs> see why they call them cell cat though? This is a true version of one. 
you know this is probably a four pound fish possibly let's see what it really is it's actually five pounds on the boat grip that's gonna be a great catch and cook i'm excited this is typically the size that you catch they can get pretty big but here like that gulp shrimp they put up a nice fight and there's no limit on them which is nice you can keep as much as you want but uh, we're gonna throw him in the cooler and <laughs> keep on fishing that's very fun big old mouth bah, 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 bah. Oh. oh something took it what are you it just jumped is that a ladyfish all right I spit the hook good that's what i like to do with ladyfish i like to fight them and then let them spit the hook at the boat <laughs> all right everything hits the gulp oh another one. Oh man hard fighter hard fighter what are you gonna be this time uh, come on pulling pretty good it's digging down i'm pretty sure that's another catfish yep sail cat that's what kind of day it is oh see these are fun i actually enjoy catching these it's something different and you can actually eat them and we're gonna boat flip him oh there he goes all right sorry buddy get my boat all dirty a lot of people will call certain fish junk fish and not good to eat but you can't knock it till you try it and i'm going to show you that we can actually eat these and they're pretty good not the first time it's been done but on my channel it'll be the first time i do a gaff top sail cat catch and cook now have i mentioned that these things are slimy yet <laughs> i think i have because look this is all slime on my leader look at that just from those sail cats see i'm gonna pile it up not harmful or anything that there are some things where i think they said you could lick it for hallucinogenic effects i butchered that word but uh i'm not going to go around licking catfish i don't know about anybody else but they are slimy so we're going to clean this leader up and that leader's still good i do need to get another gulp and get back out there so i need to put another one of these gulp baits on there now my opinion on these is they are not a replacement for live bait and they're not a replacement for your standard soft plastic they kind of fall in between i'm not paid or sponsored by them at all i've just been using them a while but they do last longer in this warmer water than going out and buying like two dozen shrimp or a dozen shrimp but they don't last nearly as long as your standard soft plastic like a z-man or doa or any of those they, they kind of fill that niche in between in terms of lures let's go ahead and rig it i don't want to bore you too much with talking they fit perfect on these jig heads there we go and we're ready to go again well i woke up this morning wanting to catch flounder so it looks like i got gaff top sail cat instead which with me that's fine that's fun they pull hard as you see in the video oh and they're super abundant. I'm gonna keep on bouncing this jig on the bottom here. See what else we can pull out. So that was pretty fun. I actually managed a lot of sail cats. I think I have three in the coolers. I'm gonna take that home, show you how I like to clean them. Because everybody does it different, I'll show you my way. And then uh, we'll cook them up. So y'all stay tuned, I'll see you at the house. So the boat's back home. I cleaned it up, I already sprayed it down and uh well i say clean I, I spray it down with fresh water and then i'll scrub it every couple weeks but i got the catfish in that cooler i need to take out and bring to the cleaning table and that's just what we're going to do so let's get them out so now i have my gaff top sail cats ready to be cleaned i just have a sword seven inch fillet knife which they'll be linked down in the description below uh, this is optional you don't have to have it a good sharp knife will do pretty much all the work for you but if you do like using them these are just skinning pliers they do work pretty well 
but like I said, we're just gonna stick with the knife unless we need to bring this out. So I'm gonna set this to the side, get my water hose out, and we'll get to cleaning. I'm sure many of y'all watching have cleaned plenty of catfish. So it's really no different cleaning these saltwater caps. The only thing is their fins do hurt a lot worse than a freshwater catfish if you get thin. They have a slight toxin in them. I'm not a biologist, but I just know from experience, if you get poked by them, it's gonna linger. What I wanna do is clean most of the slime off that I can. And I'm just gonna fillet one of them on camera just to show you, it's really easy. We'll do this big one, so I'm gonna set him aside. It would help to have a filleting glove but I don't, so we're just gonna use this towel. We're gonna cut through. There's a hard part. You just gotta cut around it. Really hard bony part. Cut down, try not to go into the guts. You can hear a super bony head. That's the biggest difference. A lot of freshwater catfish, you can get meat from up here in the head. But this one kind of starts back here right where the front of the dorsal fin is because if not hear that it's all solid head so cut down just like anything else i'm gonna go along the back and just follow that back down if you accidentally cut over to the other side it's no big deal you don't have to be perfect the meat actually looks really good. Wanna make sure we get over that rib cage. We have a big rib cage. There we go. Now we're on the other side. Cut that off. Follow it through and we're good to go. There's a fillet. You don't want to cut into their stomach cavity. See, that's fine to cut a little bit of that belly meat because they do have a lot of it. But try not to poke your knife into the guts because it will taint the meat. So that wasn't too bad. So, I mean, there's a little bit of meat left, but majority of it's out. And we're going to do the other side. There we go. Get on that other side of the bone. I don't clean too many saltwater catfish, as you can see, so I've missed a little bit of meat, but it's not going to go to waste. It's going to go in the crab trap. They'll eat it off. There we go. Okay, now we have a giant carcass right there. A big head. That's going to go in the crab trap and pinfish trap. So what I like to do next, and everybody's a little different on this, but I'm gonna skin it just with the knife. See, oops. Keep your knife flat to the skin. And then you can kind of pull it off if you're not that great at it. See, I missed a little bit of meat, but I was able to pull the rest off. And we're gonna trim that up some. And then we have a nice gaff top filet Got some red meat there i'm going to trim out because that's going to make it taste a little fishy bleeding your fish out can help with that as well but just take your knife and you can get a lot of that red meat out there we go So I did the same thing on the other filet. Now we have two very good looking gaff top sail cat filets. These have a little bone in them. If you feel any bones, just go through, just cut them off. You don't have to be perfect, like I said, because I sure am not. Nobody's perfect, but there we go. I'm gonna do the rest of these and we'll take them upstairs and keep them cool. So it's time to go in. I have my 
three catfish that I filleted and just really easy, quick fillet job. So I have four of the fillets in a glass baking dish. We've had it a while. It's cooked a lot of food. I'm gonna keep it simple because I wanna taste the meat. I don't wanna cover it up in seasoning. We're gonna do some EVOO, just coat it. Now you just wanna coat it to where it browns, not necessarily boils or steams in there. And don't be afraid to get dirty. And I'd already put some down in the bottom of the pan so it doesn't stick. Next is all up to you. Whatever type of seasoning or flavors you wanna do on your fish, but always a little bit of salt. Some Cajun seasonings, like I'm gonna be using Old Bay, are salty, some are not. So adjust that depending on what season you're using as well. A little bit of black pepper. Like I said, I wanna taste the fish, so I'm not gonna bury it in coating. Do some garlic powder, but I still want some flavor to it. I don't want it to be super bland. So a little bit of garlic powder. Next, some complete seasoning. We just getting a layer of flavors here. A little bit of it. And lastly, just to give it a nice seafood taste, Old Bay. Now you can use Chef Paul's I like, Everglades, Tex Joy, Tony's is really good. But I mix it up a lot. See, now we can still see the meat in our fish. It's not gonna be over seasoned, so we're still gonna be able to taste how fresh it is in its true flavor. So the oven's heating at 375. Once that's done, we're gonna put our fish in there and we'll be good to go. Our oven is ready. Put our fish in there. That's gonna be pretty good, right? So we're sitting on the middle shelf. There we go. At 375, we're gonna set a timer for about 18 minutes. You don't want it to dry out. We'll check on it periodically, but about 18 minutes for those semi-thick fillets. All right, oven just went off. Woo, steamy. That, I always do that every time. It actually looks pretty good. Nice white meat. So obviously I'm gonna let that cool down because it's still 375 degrees. And really hot and it's actually going to kind of finish cooking in a sense as it's cooling down i hear you <laughs> there we go and once that's cooled down we'll plate it and try bite all right let's get a piece i guess i'm going to get this middle big piece yeah that's pretty cooked you want it firm but not dried out see that's firm but it's not dry so i got one piece of gaff top cell cab i'm going to give me a fork and I'm actually going to go outside to enjoy this. And so I, I don't have any sides right now. It's just to purely try that gaff top cell cat and make sure it turned out good. So I'll see you just in a second. Y'all come join me outside. So if you watch a lot of my catch and cooks, you see this view a lot. This is home. It's beautiful out here. We're blessed to be able to live here. And I don't think there's any better way of enjoying a fresh caught meal next to the water. So that's why you see me come out a lot. But uh. Let's go ahead and cut a piece off. Look how white that is. Pretty firm. It looks just like a freshwater catfish. It does smell good. So without further ado, let's try a bite. Okay. I will keep it again. It's not quite up there with like cobia and grouper but it tastes like a catfish and that's exactly what it is. Nothing nasty tasting about this. It's not a trash fish. Now, mind you, the hard heads are a little bit different. This is a sail cat. So I'm gonna keep on eating another bite because I'm not lying to you. I want you to know I'm not lying to you. Chew it down the hatch. Mm-hmm. It has a great fresh seafood taste. Nothing wrong with that. So I'm not gonna overcomplicate this and keep on going into buttery, smoothie, fresh. It's delicious, it's tasty. I always like to say, give it a chance. If you never tried it before, don't go around spreading opinions that something's bad. So hardhead catfish, different story. Gaff top sail cat from the salt water. Tastes just like a nice, regular freshwater cat. Actually with less muddy taste. There's really no muddy taste there at all. Some of the channel cats and stuff you'll catch will taste a little muddy. 
So I'm gonna keep on eating this. I just want you to look at that meat. It's got a little pink color to it, pink and white. It's a catfish. So I'm gonna close out this video. I appreciate y'all for watching. Hit that subscribe button down below. Go like, share. I'm on Facebook and TikTok and all the social media pages. You can go check me out. But uh, I wanna thank the good Lord up above for everything he does for us and our food. And we'll see you later. Mm-hmm.